Hey guys, Madison here. Welcome back to week number three of Madtober 2022. I hope you enjoyed last week's reaction to Poltergeist. That was one of the most intense reaction experiences I think I've had on the channel. <laughs> I really enjoyed the movie, but my gosh, it was scary. Whew, I, was, I was like, that would have bounced me in and I've still got two weeks to go. And this week for Film Friday number 49, I am reacting to The Invisible Man, the version from 2020. It was actually a tie on the poll this week, so I had to break the tie. And I decided to go with The Invisible Man because I actually have been wanting to watch this movie since last year. And it never quite won a poll, but I've always been interested because I remember when it came out seeing previews for it and being intrigued. But too much of a chicken at the time to go see it in the theater. <laughs> so now that I am overcoming my my fear of scary movies and I've actually found a love for them, I am ready to watch The Invisible Man and kind of see what the story is because I think, I feel like there's at least two or three of them and it's probably based on, a lot of these scary movies are based on like old short stories or old classic stories so I think this is one of those but I'm not sure on that. Yeah, An Invisible Man sounds kind of scary to me so I want to see what this is all about. And I want to say before I get started, thank you guys so much because I just hit 15,000 a few weeks ago and now I'm getting close to 16,000 subscribers. I'm really excited. Yes, another milestone. So if you enjoy my content and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do because it really helps people find my channel. And you can also become a member of my channel if you're so inclined and you get access to exclusive emojis and badges and all sorts of fun behind the scenes content. So check that out if you're interested, become a channel member. And thank you guys so much. Let's see if we can hit 16K by the end of October. And with that said, guys, I'm ready to check out this movie. So let's do this. Creepy intro. I'm really scared of them. Is this like an abuse situation? Yeah, she's running away. This is a big house. Is he some kind of scientist? <sighs> Where is Zeus? <laughs> Hope the dog likes her, or that could be a problem. Yeah, this guy's rich. So well. I hope that's your friend. I'll explain later. Just go, Emily. Go. Open the you been up? A few hours. Can't sleep. And you know if you close your eyes and you lie down, that usually helps. He's not out there. I promise. Poor thing. I'm sorry. I'm just...
do I know you? Do I owe you money? A lot. A lot? I told y'all about running up on me in my house. What are you doing here, Emily? I'm not trying to control you, boo. I'm desperately trying to tell you that you don't need to cut me off anymore. Because he's dead. <laughs> what did he do to you? Because he really did. You know, lots of times in abusive situations like that, they'll threaten the their partner with saying, like, if you leave me, you know, I'll do this and it'll be your fault to you know, guilt them into saying. He was, he was in complete control of everything, you know, what I wore, then it was controlling when I left the house and what I thought. If he didn't like what he assumed, I was thinking. He would, he would hate you? I took birth control without him knowing it. Sounds like a narcissist. Maybe also sociopath or psychopath. Hey, look at you getting out into the world. No one knows I'm here. So, who's it from? Did that same notice to heirs, did he leave her everything? He wanted me to read a, a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I at least thought we had- She's not required to listen. Email me a copy. If there was a chance of physically being close to him, we would not be here for any amount of money. He's in that urn over there. You're getting five million dollars. Hmm. Wow, thanks, see? Wait, you could totally use the ladder. To climb up. Yeah, the ladder's cool. Cool ladder. Oh. It's a new bank account. Okay. You going to fashion school, kid? Hey, whoa, see, see that's... <laughs> cop, you realize I'm a cop. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Hey. That camera angle's making me uneasy. Like they're being watched. <laughs> I bet. He used, like, her meeting with his brother to, like, follow her home and figure out where she's living now. All right, look, I'm out of here. Um, I'll be back around 7. Okay. All right. It's smoking. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that heat just turned up real fast on that stove. <sighs> is it? Is that he was some kind of optics inventor? I'm telling you guys, he's he's alive and he's gonna use all his technology gadgets to make her think she's crazy. He's got way too big of an ego to kill himself. I think he's trying to get back at her. longer a camera take goes on, the more anxious I become. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> that is so creepy. Oh my gosh. some of your work yes of course <clears throat> are you okay he took her stuff out of there God, she's trying to ruin her life he's like you are not leaving me you're not moving on without me i'm gonna make your life miserable little punk <laughs> you guys can go home Yeah. Tell him to stop what he's doing. 
and he was staring at me, studying me. He said that I could never leave him, that he would walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. I lost the bottle that night, and somehow it found its way back to me. He's not dead, Tom. He has figured out a way to be invisible. Something tells me you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, but he's gonna keep gaslighting you. No, I agree with you. Adrian was brilliant, but it wasn't because of anything he invented. It was how he got in people's heads. I hated him. You and I, we got that in common. Hmm. I was relieved when I heard that he was dead. Okay, so maybe he doesn't know what his brother's doing. I thought his brother was in on it, but maybe not. Seems to genuinely hate him. Everybody's gonna think she's crazy because she can't prove it yet. Now I know what you really think of me. Suffocating. I am to you. The email. The email you sent me this morning. What email? If that's how you feel about me, don't ask me to bail you out of your personal life anymore. He's... he's doing this to me. You need some medication. Adrian is dead. Em, please, no... <sighs> Still isolating her, even in death. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> I think we get kicked out out and have a little girl's night. Oh my god. No, I didn't. What, what happened? What happened? See, enough. Just stop it. Now, if I were you, I would go to your sister's place. You don't need to be here right now. My gosh. Come on. Don't hit a little girl. Hit me. So what me, Adrian? You could have any woman you wanted. I'm just a suburban girl who stumbled into your life one night at a party. <laughs> this is Adrian Griffin. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you when I can. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take it out of the bag, keep all the evidence. You just put your fingerprints on there. Wait, is that the knife she got out of the kitchen earlier? Can't she show them his phone and show them the pictures? okay until that moment. <laughs> Holy crap. Lord. He can't hide now. He's got paint on him. Where did he go? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. out or grab you or whatever. Ugh. <sighs> I like it. I like an enemy I can see. <laughs> wow. 
Why is she going in there? Well, he didn't change the passcodes. Is she trying to find his invisible suits? Assuming he's got some kind of skin suit technology that like is a chameleon and it like transforms to his surroundings so you can't tell where he is. Suit, man, take the suit. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Run. Run back to the car with the suit. What are you doing? She left the suit. Gosh. That was your proof. Eight o'clock at Yulon. And if you can't, I understand, but you have to tell me because I have to call someone else because I don't think I have much time left. Why did she hide in the closet? She needed to just leave, run out of there with the suit. And you have the proof that you're not crazy. Hi. I love you. I think really intimidated by you. As you should be. And I need you to believe what I'm about to tell you. I found something. That can prove what I'm experiencing. And it has cameras and it somehow what? <laughs> no. What? What? This is terrible. My gosh. Holy crap. How do we Celia? How does she prove it now? Can you confirm the person in this video is you? I have something that'll prove he's alive. I found it. I can't tell you. Right now. He's listening. If he kills him now, it's gonna be on camera and everyone's gonna know it's not you, so tell him you found the suit. God, that was great having them across from each other at the table, but on opposite sides of the table, showing the distance between them. That was good. Good framing. Did you know that you were pregnant? Didn't the doctor who took the test tell you? No, that can't be right. I can't be sure of exactly when, but it must have been some time in the last month. <sighs> It's my duty to inform you that any further payments are to be halted. You're just the jellyfish version of him. If you sign this document and forfeit your share of the trust, where there's one option, where this all goes away. He is. I think you didn't know you were secretly using birth control. He is in on it. Of course he did. Not that he knows you're the mother of his child. It's time to stop playing games. Right now, you're a murderer. But I can change that. That's what we call a lose-lose situation, folks. Adrian killed my sister. We'll be watching. <laughs> we'll be watching. These freaking... Good night. You won't get the baby. No. And you won't get me. No. There you are.
grab the gun. It's right there. It's, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's right there in front of your hand. While he's killing these people, grab the gun and shoot him. He's right behind you. Now explain to me why Cecilia is not grabbing the gun laying in front of her and shooting. Shooting everywhere in the hall. You're gonna hit him. Oh no. Uh... <sighs> why is she still just like- Thank you! Why did you wait till they were all dead? <laughs> why? Why did you wait till they were all dead? Just- oh my gosh. <sighs> you just let him murder all those people. So I'm gonna truly teach you something. Shoot him! If you fight me. Now you've only got yourself to blame for that innocent young girl's death. No, please. Hold it. Show me your hand. They're doing anything stupid. Guys, <laughs> I hate him so much. Kill him. Shoot him again. Shoot him again just to make sure. <laughs> what if that suit's kind of... It doesn't look bulletproof, but I'd make sure. What? Huh? Wait. No! Stay clear! Biotactical team found Adrian this morning. Looks like he was a victim of his brother, just like you were. Adrian did this to me. Adrian did everything before that, though. This is what he does. I thought it was over. <laughs> Crap. Oh my gosh. So what have they done with Adrian? Where is he now? Probably just walking around free, because they he's the victim. Cecilia? I'm so glad you called. You look amazing. I mean, you, you always, you always look amazing. Oh, Hopstake. She's gonna try to get him to confess on camera. I know I didn't treat you the way you should have been treated. I would burn everything I own just to prove that to you. Which means I need you to admit everything that you did. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. I swear it. Yeah, it was. Why can't you just tell me? Evil, evil, evil. How's she gonna get him to do it? He's trying to kill himself. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, 
Are you okay? It's okay. You okay? I'm okay. What? I'm okay, James. Look at me. I'm okay. He killed himself. You never did want to get him admitting anything on tape, did you? It sounded a lot like he killed himself. He knows. Wow. Uh, that was great. That was a really solid flick. Really solid thriller. I really enjoyed that. And even though early on I was quite certain that he was alive and not dead, you know, they, they, they really set it up with like the optics um, and Venture and all of that. Even though I thought he was alive and using his gadgets to make her think she was crazy and make everyone else think she was crazy, they still got me with some twists and turns there at the end, or near the end, I should say. Like, his brother being in the suit really threw me for a loop. I was like, wait a second, was it his brother this whole time and Adrian is actually dead? Like, I really questioned for a second, was I wrong? And is he actually dead? And it was his brother doing all this and his brother's the dangerous, like, crazy one, like, Obviously, that would have still meant Adrian was an abusive boyfriend, but I was like, is his brother really the murderous one? And then no, it turns out Adrian is so evil and just manipulative, he even had his brother under his thumb, like he could get his brother to take the fall for him. That's just, I mean, imagine the threats Adrian probably uh, said to Tom to be like, you know, I'm gonna ruin your life if you don't do this for me. And then, I was like, how's she gonna get him to admit that he did all of this and he wasn't biting, he wasn't taking the bait, and I was like, what's she gonna do? I, I did not, <laughs> I did not see that coming, pardon the pun, I did not see that coming. What she did is such a mix of emotions because you're so glad he's dead, like he's a murderer, he killed her sister, he killed all those, um, policeman, not policeman, he killed all those people, yes, policemen, I guess, in the facility where she was being held. He did all of that, probably killed like 10 people. And so you're like, great, she, she took out a serial killer, but it's also like, what did he reduce her to? Because now in a way she's a murderer, she's a killer. She slit his throat and that's a dark place he took her to. But in a way you're like, did she have a choice? Yes, she did. She did have a choice, but also if she hadn't done it, he would have made the rest of her life miserable. He never would have let it go and he never would have taken the fall for his crimes because there was no evidence proving it. It was all put on the brother. So it's like, yes, she had a choice, but the choice was kind of like, do I want to be haunted by Adrian for the rest of my life and potentially have him keep killing everyone around me or do I take him out? And you know what? <laughs> I think she took the lesser of two evils there but there's the darkness is not lost on me what it the toll that it took on her but it was so satisfying seeing her walk out of there at the end and just breathe free air and smile and be free of him for the first time since she met him i imagine this would be hard for a lot of women to watch because of the topic like yeah it's a little on the realm of um it's not quite sci-fi, but just that really advanced technology, the suit and all that, it's a little out there, but the, the subject matter, like what he did to her, what she's struggling with is so grounded and so real and so relatable for so many people. I've never been in a situation like that, but I know that so, so many women have, and it's hard for me to watch, like knowing that so many women have gone through this and been in situations like this where they feel like they can't escape, they feel trapped, they feel like they're not worth anything without this person. Like she was talking about early in the film, every aspect of their life being controlled by this abusive boyfriend. So that's what's really so terrifying about it is that it's so real and that it happens to so many women. And it is hard to break out of those situations because like I mentioned early on, a lot of them can make threats like that. Like, oh, if you leave me, I'll die, you know, that sort of thing. And they really try to guilt them into staying or make threats of violence against them. That was just really solid, really solid all around. And that, <laughs> that one jump scare in particular really got me. Sorry for any headphones users, cause I screamed. <laughs> I just, I don't know. That was the first time we really saw the man in the suit and when she threw that paint on him. It just shocked me because I did not expect him to be that close. Oh, it got me. 
and the score was really good too with enhancing that scary vibe when he did show up the kind of synthesized droning was really terrifying and i love the piano too just kind of enhancing the the creepy vibe and just the dark vibe throughout it was so hard to watch her go through this like everyone around her thinking she's crazy and then her own sister getting killed okay that was the most shocking scene in the film for me i totally did not see that coming like i did not think he would do that in a public place like that i thought they were probably safe being in a public restaurant like that and then just him framing her for the murder oh my gosh that was the most shocking scene in the film for me i was stunned and horrified my gosh it i mean this girl went through everything can we blame her for avenging her sister my gosh uh, th there was great cinematography in that film i loved the really long shots because there's something about that not cutting away that just really helps build suspense like that one shot early on when she leaves the kitchen and the, the stove turns up and the fire starts and it's just it never follows her to go talk to S sydney um when she goes to talk to sydney and the camera stays on the stove and it doesn't follow her and it's just like literally boiling building that suspense that was great um that first scene of her fighting with him in the kitchen and then in the house was crazy. I was trying to figure out technically how they shot this. Um, and I'm assuming they had a man in like a green screen suit. Um, a man in a green screen suit and then doing some wire work probably with her getting dragged around and stuff. Um, really cool. Different from what I've seen before. Holy moly guys, that was you know that was less about the jump scares and more just about the creepy psychological factor but there were some good jump scares um that one in particular that made me scream <laughs> but that was just a really solid thriller i love thrillers um and i was really rooting so hard for her in this movie like elizabeth moss did a fantastic job really sold every scene in this film um, and so much of it is just her, you know, pretending someone's there. And she really sold it. Um, great movie. I enjoyed the supporting characters, James and his daughter. Um, I really cared about them. And I was really afraid that James was going to get killed at the end. I was going to be so bad. <laughs> Thank goodness that didn't happen. Great movie. Really enjoyed it. Sent more than a few shivers down my spine. It was, oh, there is something so terrifying about there being an enemy, like someone out to get you that you can't see. That's what's so scary about ghosts. But this being a real person, kind of like a real, um, like a, a, an invisible Michael Myers almost. And it's even scarier when you can't see like what's coming to get you. Where is he? You know, and you're trying to fight something you can't see. That's a lot harder than fighting something you can't see. So wow, that was terrifying, uh, but I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that ending because it was, I, I did not expect it to go down that way. And it was really satisfying for the character's arc. Um, yes, it's dark and yes, that this has uh, scarred her and changed her as a person, but you know, she did, she overcame she did not succumb to like helplessness and being a victim and giving up and say he's won even when she was in the cell and um i thought she was going to try to kill herself i was like no i was like what this can't end this way but even then she was she was playing him she knew that would make him reveal himself i was impressed with her there um yeah, she never gave up, even when she was in the darkest moment, you know, locked up like an insane person. Her sister had just been murdered right in front of her. She could have so easily given up and been like, I can't beat him. He, He's always one step ahead of me. But she didn't. She kept fighting and kept thinking of a way to get out, to be free of him. Never gave up. And so I really admired the character for that. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this film. I'm really glad I finally got to watch it because, yeah, great movie. So um, thanks to everyone who voted for it on the poll. And uh, 
what a third week, what a third week of Madtober. Oh, there was one thing I was going to mention. So I've gotten some comments from people over the past couple of weeks being scared about my candles. <laughs> they were like, I'm worried she's going to burn her house down. Well, don't worry because these are actually, th this is not real fire. It's not. So um, these are actually Luminara candles and it's not real, not real fire, but they look real. They look great on camera. Um, and they're really great candles. You don't have to smell the smoke or anything like that in your room. You just get the nice candlelight effect. So shameless plug for Luminara there. They have not sponsored me, but if they want to sponsor me, I'm your gal. <laughs> I will sell these things for you all day long because they are fantastic. I love them. So yeah, don't worry about me burning my house down. It's not going to happen. There's no fire involved. No fire was involved in the making of this video. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction and be sure to come back next week for the fourth and final week of Madtober. What will I be watching next? Remember to subscribe if you haven't already because I'm trying to hit 16k by the end of October. So please help me in reaching that goal. We're, we're homing in, we're zeroing in on 20k. I would like to hit 20k by the end of the year. So if you would like to help me in reaching that goal, I will be forever grateful. Thank you guys again so much for watching and be sure to come back next week for the last week of Madtober and it will also be Film Friday number 50, a huge milestone, 50 movies. I gotta pick a good one for my 50th movie. So be sure to tune in and head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash madisonkteams if you wanna vote on next week's poll for what I'll be watching and you can also see the full length reaction to this movie and all the other movies that I've watched as well. So check it out if you're interested and I will see you guys next week.